Hello everyone, Harvey from Elixir Node here, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can import a world into your Minecraft server. So firstly, you're going to need to find a world that you want to import into your Minecraft server. So this can be either a world from your own worlds, or it can be downloaded from online. But I'm going to be using a map that I installed earlier. So what you want to do is you want to upload the file by going over to this upload button and clicking it. And then once you've selected it, you'll see that it's uploading, so we're going to wait for that to upload. And as you can see, it's finished uploading now, and as you can see, I've got minecraftmaps.com cipher.zip. This is the world that I just imported. So now we're going to need to extract that into a normal folder, which we're going to do by going on these three dots here and clicking unarchive. And again, you're going to have to wait for this to unarchive, and as you can see, it's been unarchived into Cypher. And finally, what you need to do is you need to head over to your server.properties file and head to the level name section here, which is on line 18, and change that to the world name that you just had. Mine was Cypher. And once you've done that, you can save the file, head to your console, and restart your server. And now if we join the Minecraft server that we just restarted, as you can see, this is the map of Cypher. And that is how you get a Minecraft world onto your Minecraft server. Now, if you'd like to import a world from your own PC, what you need to do is you need to find your .minecraft folder, which you can on Windows by doing Windows R and then doing app data with the percentages around it. Then once that file is loaded up, head to .minecraft and then into your saves file, which is there for me. As you can see, I've got all of my worlds here and I want to use this world here, world dash, which is the world that I want to put into my Minecraft server. By the way, this is what it looks like, just for reference when we get onto it later. Now what you want to do is you want to right click that, hover over to send to, and then compress zip folder. If you use like a compression software like I do, you can change it to a .rar or a .zip, it doesn't matter. But I'm going to do it the old way without any external devices. So once you've compressed that, as you can see, mine's changed to world2.zip, because I've already got one that's called world.zip. And now you want to import this .zip file into your Elixir node panel by dragging it over into there. And now you've just got to wait a little bit for it to get into there. So mine's just been uploaded. As you can see, it only took about 25 seconds of that. So we want to go on the three dots here and head to unarchive. And again, wait for that to just unarchive. And it's here, as you can see, world dash. And now you want to go to server.properties find the level name it will be set to world default but set whatever your world name is and mine's just called world dash i'm just gonna add an a dash and then save that file and then finally head over to your console and restart your server so now if we log on to my minecraft server you will see that we are now into the world this is my world that i just put in there so that is how you get a world onto your minecraft server why i'm invisible whoa I hope this video actually helped you, however, if you need any additional help, there is a link in the description. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.